How's it going guys? It's your YouTube here in Cypher, episode number 9 of Let's Play Hunt. We're going to start this episode off with a pack opening uh, from our pre-order gold pack. We haven't had too much uh, good luck so far, but uh, hopefully it'll continue. But as you'll see in just one second, it does not. Our best player is Marc-Andre Bergeron, and uh, we actually get a rare uh, silver there as our uh, rare player. Then we're going to pick up Sangonga here for 3500 buy now, a solid player. Uh, then we're going to pick up Gravner for 2000 buy now, so a lot of pickups because I had around 11000 in uh, pucks left over. Then Havlat for 3000 buy now. Surprising he goes for the oh so cheap. I guess this is overall, but if you look at his stats, really, really good. Later on, Dubinsky here. We're going to pick up for 1100 buy now, a solid center with good defense. And uh, last but not least, we're going to pick up Derek Roy for 1400 by now. And uh, he's got pretty good stats. He was good in NHL 13. Hopefully, he can continue that NHL 14. And we're going to add a captain card to Sam Gagne to improve his offensive stats to be beastly. So, anyways, here's our lineup. In our first line, we got Fleischman, Gagne, Havlet, Roby Daldos on our second line. Uh, we have Grabner, Roy, Stafford, and then Mihalik and Eichmann Larson on our D line. Then on our third line, we've got uh, Butker. Uh, Dubinsky and Verbata, as well as Demers and Blask on our third defensive line. And our fourth defensive line, we've got Kostitz and Fisher and Stalbrick, the Nashville line, and Mason still in that. So, anyways, we're going to jump into this game against Forgus 420. And uh, as you can see here to start off, Stalbrick ends up getting the puck. Uh, is able to feed over Kostitz and he gives it to Fisher, and Fisher with a nice backhand to put it away to make it 1 nothing here later on. He's going to bring it in late in the second and uh, pretty much beat out the defenseman and feed it over to Jordan Stahl. Who puts it away to make it 1-1? One one. But uh, complete domination this game. I was <laughs> surprised it wasn't 5-1 at the start of the game. But anyway, Stalberg would come back here and kind of get a lucky goal to make it 2-1. And then finally, with about 20 seconds left, Bucker's going to bring it over. Sphere over Dubinsky. goes across. Anderson covers it up. But he's going to give it away right back to Dubinsky, who gets his first goal for Let's Play Hut and make this a 3-1 score. So a solid win there, 3-1. Uh, Gagne ends up getting injured for two games for that one, so we ended up putting uh, Ribeiro back in. 688 EA pucks, and we're able to move up six points in Division 5. Here we go, as you can see, by a time attack, 10 to 2 in minutes, uh, and then Stalbury, Fisher, and Castis in the Nashville line get all three stars. Here, later on in our second game, we're going to go up against this guy with, uh, I forgot the, uh, the jerseys, the gold miner jersey. Anyway, to start off here, uh, nice chance for Grabner and Stafford, but Grabner's going to pick up the rebound and put it away to make it 1 nothing, anyways. So a nice job there. And uh, later on here, we're on the power play. Eklund is going to take a huge shot. It's going to go wide. But Havlat's going to feed it in front for Bucker. And Bucker puts it away to make it 2 to nothing. Later on here, Vlasic is going to get the puck. He's going to lose it. He goes back the other way. Matt Reed makes a nice move past me. And a nice double backhand there to beat it past Mason. And uh, a nice uh, little celly there at the end to make it 2-1. to one. But right off the faceoff, right after that, Ribeiro's going to get it. He's gonna, Verbar's gonna take it off, feed over to Ribeiro, Ribeiro to Booker, and Booker's gonna get a second of the game, a nice goal there to make it 3-1. to one. Later on here, late in the second, Grounder's gonna get the puck, he's gonna feed it off the boards. Roy tries to make a chop, he misses it, he plays a bad pass, and then Stafford holds the backhand. Nice goal there to make it 4-1, to one. and uh, with that we're able to uh, take a big lead here, and to just to clinch it, look at this move by Dubinsky. Holy smokes, little deke there, and drags it across the goalie to put it away to make it 5-1. to one. And that's how the game would finish, boys. A nice 5-1 to one win. 943 EA pucks from that game. And uh, we continue our winning streak. And we're up to uh, holding our uh, place in this division. As you can see, time attack was pretty even. Shots were a little even. But Bucker, Dubinsky, and Stafford with the three stars. And we're able to win that game. Later on here, we're going to go into this game against Oak Tree 91. He's got the Caps logo and jersey. And uh, as you'll see to start off here, Havlot's going to bring in the puck. He's going to find Del Zotto with the no helmet. With the fin a big clapper to make it one nothing, a nice goal there for Del Zotto. Later on here, dumb play. Havlat's gonna pick it up. He's gonna get rocked by Seidenberg, but Grabner's gonna get the rebound and put it away to make it two to nothing. Nice goal there by Grabner first for the Let's Play Hut. Later on here, we're on the power play. We're gonna feed over Stafford, who's gonna get rocked as well. He's gonna come back the other way. Beat my defenseman Ekman Larson and feed it across for Like, who's gonna put a shorty in there to make it two to one. But later on here, Del Zotto. Find some room. He's going to feed it over to Roby Dog, who's going to miss, uh, who shot, misses, then, I mean, saved. And then Ribeiro ends up getting the feed from Fleischman to uh, put it away and make it 3-1. We're on the power play here, and he tries to get a little bit too fancy in our zone. And Stafford is through on the breakaway, and just a little backhand forehand puts it away to make it 4-1. to But you see, a lot of you guys say don't glitch when you're up by a lot. 
But then this happens. He ends up coming back here with Stewart. BX up. BX takes a shot and somehow it's tipped to make it four to two. And in the third period here, I get a little bit too fancy. Bieksa is going to bring it in. I'm too, too used to saying Bieska from Don Cherry and get a goal there to make a 4-3, but that's as close as you would get, so we were lucky to uh, get away with that win there. 777 EA Pucks, a little bit of a lucky number there. 10 points in Division 5, and we're 3 points away from getting uh, the title and 1 away from promotion, and 3 stars with Grabner, Stafford, and Havlat. And our last game here against Leaf Fan, 1966. Uh... He's going to use the uh, St. Pat's jerseys. We're going to be using our Pittsburgh Penguins at home. And uh, to start off here, Verbata is going to get uh, checked by Petrangelo. Nice little stick lift. Feeds it across to Bucker. And Bucker puts away, who's just been on fire so far uh, in these games. Uh, later on here, it was, uh, I believe, Grabner that gets rocked. And Bucker, a little move there to get past Howard. A little point to the, to the goalie for a, a bad job of tending there. Later on here, Stafford's going to pick up the loose puck. He's going to feed it across for Dubinsky, and Dubinsky's got himself another goal. And that's his third and fourth game, four games for Let's Play Hut. And uh, as you'll see in, in a second, he ends up getting here on a power play, brings it into the zone, takes a slap shot, and it goes in a little weak goal. But we'll give him that because he had Joe Turner. This guy had a pretty good team. I mean, his third, I think he had Suter, Pietrangelo, Weber, all these kind of guys. And we're going to clinch this off with an empty netter on a 4-4 four and four with 9 seconds left. And it's Gagne getting his first goal. Uh, for let's play how back after injury and Stauber actually ends up getting injured at, at the end of that So might have to replace him. 729 EA pucks from that and we're one point away from winning the title uh, Get and uh, getting 2,000 EA pucks as a bonus So anyways here we go three stars Bucker Mason and Dubinsky and as you'll see last 10 games 10 and 0 We are on a tear and uh, so I'm wondering what you guys think I right now have around 6k Let's say 6k around there and I might after one game I might be getting another 2500 so uh, I need a left wing because I feel like my left wing's uh, roster spots are the uh, weakest any suggestions for people around 5 6k uh, would be appreciated uh, literally anyone just let me know down in the comments below and uh, so yeah let's take a look at our team leaders here no changes from the last one Fleischman leads, still leads our team with 27 points and 16 goals. Hodgson now relegated to the bench. He still leads our team in, with 13 assists. So it'll take a while for our uh, new players to come up, but I'm sure they'll start tearing it up because uh, Dubinsky, Havlak, Grabner, you know, those guys were uh, pretty good players in these four games that we started off with. So uh, with that, hope you guys enjoyed. I know I haven't uploaded this in a while, but I'm going to try to go a little bit more active as of late. I just finished midterm week, so it'll be a little bit more easier to uh, record and upload. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. It's always appreciated. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.